The new jobs numbers are out this morning, and for the first time in eight months, they've gone down in B.C. For more on that, let's bring in Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. Morning, Tyler. The streak, it's over. Yeah, it might not be such a surprise at this mm -hmm. point. BC had been leading the way among provinces since July, so it's kind of a tough break for a lot of workers, especially in some of the industries I'm about to talk about right now. We saw that the employment unemployment rate went up 0.3 percentage points, and big losses came for, say, transportation and warehousing. That shed 5,000 jobs. We also saw jobs lost, surprisingly, in healthcare. We also saw that uh, construction as well as hospitality and accommodation saw some losses. There were some gains, though, I should add that, you know, especially in support services. They added nearly 6,000. And we also saw a lot of jobs related to the real estate industry that were generated last month. Now, BC is right now standing in the contrast to the rest of Canada that actually saw gains of 15,000 jobs. The question right now is whether or not BC has hit peak employment. Is this just a blip or might this be a sign of the things to come? We'll have to wait and see where things are going, especially as you see that central banks across the world are, are tightening rates and you know that could put a squeeze on access to investment capital for businesses. It's going to be interesting to watch and see indeed. Okay, let's switch gears kind of and talk about the high-end job market because big changes are coming to Aritzia. The CEO stepping down after 40 years. What's that going to mean for the Vancouver chain? Well, so far, Brian Hill, he's leaving the company on a high note. Their latest quarterly financials revealed revenue of $445 million. Uh, profit is up almost double compared with uh, three months uh, uh, one year ago. Profit is at $34 million. And Brian Hill, he's going to be lending it over or handing the keys over to his handpicked successor, longtime Aritzia executive Jennifer Wong. She's stepping in as CEO. The company already has about 100 stores operating, and Wong will be overseeing the delivery of another 10 boutiques over the coming year. So look, uh, the performance of the company, it's really outstripping what market expectations were. So it's kind of a good news story uh, right now for the Vancouver uh, chain, uh, even amid the uh, job numbers that we're seeing earlier today. Tyler's a guy who got headshots taken yesterday. I can tell you that headshot of Brian Hill, that's much better than any headshot I've ever had of myself. Tyler Orton, <laughs> Business in Vancouver. Have a good weekend, sir. Thank you so much, Paul.